The skeletal system is divided into two divisions. The axial skeleton, which consists of bones that form the longitudinal axis of the body, and the appendicular skeleton, which consists of bones that are appended to the axial skeleton. The axial skeleton includes 80 bones comprising the skull, vertebral column, and thorax. The appendicular skeleton consists of the bones of the shoulders, upper extremities, hips, and lower extremities. The bones of the upper extremities, or arms, are connected to the axial skeleton via the shoulder girdle. The arm itself is composed of the humerus, or upper arm, and the radius and ulna of the forearm, plus the wrist and hand, which consist of 27 separate bones. Because of this large number of small bones, our hands are capable of more movement than any other part of our body. The bones of the lower extremities, or legs, are connected to the axial skeleton via the pelvic girdle, which is formed by the two hip bones. It protects the bladder, reproductive organs, lower colon, and rectum. In the male, the pubic arch of the pelvis is less than 90 degrees wide, in the female, greater than 90 degrees. This difference in width is necessary for the female pelvis to accommodate childbirth. The longest, heaviest, and strongest bone in the body is the femur, commonly called the thigh bone. At one end, it is connected to the pelvis, and at the other end, to the lower leg, which is made up of the tibia, or shin bone, and fibula. The tibia bears all of our body's weight. The fibula bears no weight at all. The patella, or kneecap, is a large bone between the femur and fibula. It protects the knee joint and tendons that form the knee. The bones of the ankle and foot must carry all of our body weight as we stand, walk, or run. And the 26 bones and 33 joints that make up our ankle and foot enable it to do just that. The entire skeletal system of an average adult weighs less than 10 kilograms. If you attempted to replace this with a steel skeleton that was just as strong, it would weigh 400 kilograms and still would not have the resilience of bone or the ability to repair itself.